We're gonna have some fun with puppies. Who doesn't love a cute little puppy? I'm gonna show you a real simple way to draw the most adorable puppy. Look at him. Okay, is that guy not make you smile? Trust me, you can do this. All you're gonna need is a piece of paper. If you've got cardstock and wanna make it into a card, that would of course be a little better, but no worries. If it's just a plain piece of paper, that will work too. Today, I'm using uh, watercolor mixed media paper, 300 pound, and all I'm gonna need is a two, uh, number two HB soft pencil. So it's that simple. Grab an eraser, cut your piece of paper to the size you want, and let's get started. Okay, welcome for another character drawing. We're gonna have fun making this cute little guy. Isn't he adorable? Doesn't everybody love a little puppy? So grab your supplies, just a piece of paper, if you wanna make it into a card, um, some, something that maybe is a little bit thicker. And what I've already done ahead of time is I measured the length of the paper and then I came in halfway and then I drew my little line because I'm gonna fold this when it's over. I wouldn't have drawn this if I'm truly gonna send it. You're gonna to wanna to draw on this side of the paper if you're gonna turn it into a card. But I wanted to be able to show you. So this will be the score line where the, where the card actually folds. And so let's get started. I've got my pencil, my number two um, HB soft, and I've got my eraser and I've got a little device that I use to score. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so with little character drawings, we don't want anything to look uh, lifelike. It's supposed to be fun and quirky and adorable. So we're gonna start off with a head that is more like, almost like a block. It's a real simple to draw, but we're gonna come in on the side. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm gonna start over because I want it up a little bit higher. And that's the great thing. Remember, nothing in art is perfect. And you can feel free to erase. You can feel free to start over. It's your world, okay? So I'm coming up here a little bit. And I'm bring, giving, giving him this little block head. Every head, I don't care if it's a human head, an animal head, or whatever, has kind of this area in the back, the occipital area that protrudes out and it does make the head um, shape, you know, a lot more fun. So, real simple, just make your curved little block shape. All right, we've got that. Now I'm going to come down and I'm gonna bring in his cute little nose. So we're gonna angle in just a bit and then we're gonna give him a little pug nose. When you want a cute little character, don't make a long nose. Um, unless you're drawing a weenie dog, that's a different story. But most little character animals are gonna have short little cute puggy noses. And then let's just come in and we'll just bring this around there. We're gonna add all this detail later, but we're just getting the layout and the foundation of the animal. So we've just come down in a curve shape after his cute little pug area. <clears throat> Now, let's try the body out. So just come off of the head, and some of this is going to be covered up because we're gonna add in ears and then we're gonna erase away. Not to worry, uh, that's how it works. And then just come back off for his body. And then his cute little backside. We're gonna give the same kind of little curve as we did up on the head side, on that back side of the head. <clears throat> Again, we're just sketching real light little sketch marks, um, and then we'll go back in and we'll color it in a little bit harder. Then we've got to give him his little back hind leg, okay? And we're going to give him uh, where the little, the what do you call that? His leg joint, his thigh or whatever you want to call that. That's his little thigh. And we've got his little tummy going. Okay, and then we want to give him his back leg because we want we don't want him to look like a one little one legged peg leg dog. <laughs> so he's got his little back leg and we'll shade that in like you can see up there. 
to give it some dimension and depth. All right, then he's got to have his little front paw because he can't be without his two, two little front paws. You know, I think I'm going to put that back a little bit when I'm looking at it. So I think I'm going to come back here with it. There we go. And then his little front leg that's in the background. All right. This is going to be his front shoulder. And then I'm just going to kind of lightly do that in because it's going to end up getting uh, erased. All right. Let's now add in some of the fun things. So he needs a big, fun little eye there. Let's come about, oh, just in between um, the snout and the head, right in between there. So in between the little snout and the head. And I'm going to make him this nice, big eye. Oh, isn't he cute already? Not. See, what did I say? Most drawings, they don't look cute to begin with. I don't care how good you are. So don't panic. We're going to give him a little eyebrow. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to give him this fun little frolicking hair. Yay. How cute. Let's give him a big old floppy ear. And the bigger the ear, the better. Right? And another little uh, wisp of hair off of it. And then he's got to have his other ear that's in the background. And we'll shade that like we did. All right. Let's give him his cute little nose. And we're going to leave some little light area at the top to give it a little bit of light bounce off of it. And then we're going to come in and we're going to start and make these lines a little bit darker. Again, these are all sketching, so you don't have to do anything perfect. Actually, when it's not perfect, it's, it's better. Because we're truly just sketching and having some fun, right? Let's give him his cute little tail. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than it was on the other one because I just think it's adorable. Every little doggy tail needs a fun wag to it, right? He looks like he could just be wagging, waiting for you to get home. All right, let's uh, block in the areas of his head that we're going to see. And then, again, we're just going to add in just some fun marks to uh, bring this a little bit more to life. And down on his nose and up around his, we're going to give him a little fur down there. How cute. Can you see? It's already starting to come alive. I hope you're having fun with me. Let's get this eye more defined. And then his pupil. And we're going to give, give him a couple little reflective uh, dots there. And then we're going to shade. Just shade it in. How cute is he? All right. Looking good. Uh, his back little ear, we're going to just shade that in a bit. And then we're going to come here with this floppy fun ear. And we're going to define that. And his other little tufts of hair. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to go ahead and erase. Okay? So I'm going to erase these marks that uh, we came over the top of, as we talked about. How are you feeling about yours? Feel free to stop the video and do what you need to do. Let's give him a little patch on his back. Okay? And then we need to shade in his little back legs because those are back behind him, right? Those are behind him. And then this kind of just shows a little movement of his little, um, his little tail. And then we're going to give him just little places that he's walked and been. And I think that's it. Um, let's make his nose a little bit uh, darker there. All right, what do y'all think? Fun? I hope you had fun with this one. So let's make it into a quick little card. And I would typically score this on the other side, but I had already uh, measured on this side, so I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. And I've already, as we said in the beginning, shown you that we've uh, 
uh, measured off halfway in between and then you can take any kind of little device um, or you can just fold it you can take a fork the end of a fork anything that will just score it slightly to make it easier to fold and then here's the fold Come on, I didn't do a very good job of measuring on this one but that's okay we can cut that off at the end or we could write a cute little message down there Actually, that'd be fun. Let's try that, shall we? Let me grab my pencil sharpener, because for the little message, I want it to have a little more. Let's see, what shall we say? Hmm. Uh, let's just put love you to the moon and back so how fun that comes in the mail that's the first thing you're going to see love you to the moon and back and then you can open it up and you can write whatever little message you want let's just write hope you have a wagon good day let's do that and so we're just going to do some real simple block lettering again we will get into more calligraphy later down the road. Hope you have a wagon good day all right now you can shade in some of this to make it a little more dimensional and if you choose to do that kind of the rule of thumb like we've talked about in our previous video any stroke that goes downward you're just going to make that a little thicker and that gives you that dimension that um, makes it look more um, artistic so down on the U, down here on the U for the calligraphy, and then wagon down on the um, this side of the W, down, okay, down on the A, and the other side, and the G. It's real simple. A lot of people think that making uh, beautiful letters is difficult, but I'm here to tell you and watching me, you're going to realize this is not hard. If I can do it, I know you can do it. Have a wagon, and then down on the G, and around on the back side, and down on the O. And again, none of this has to be perfect. And that's the beauty of homemade art, is that it's not perfect. It's straight from the heart and just as beautiful. Hope you have a wagging good day. Love you to the moon and back. And there's your sweet little card. You can paint it, you can color it, you can leave it as it is. But I'm telling you, if I got this in the mail from one of my little friends or grandkids, it would be a treasure to me. So I hope you had fun and enjoy.